Hi, Sheldon Dingwall here. Welcome to the first video in our setup series, and this is going to focus on tuning. When you first install a new set of strings, the thicker strings, like the B and E, which are inherently stiffer, will not be seated correctly at the bridge and nut. This will mess up your tone, your action, and your intonation. See how the B string has a slight arc as it passes over the bridge? Look at the E string and the A string. They both have a sharp bend right on top of the saddle, and that's what you're looking for. So to fix this, just find something small and flat to use as a bending tool. Hold it on top of the string, right over top of the bridge, and then press lightly on the string behind the bridge. Repeat the same thing at the nut, and then also on your E and A strings if they need it as well. Now just use a little bit of pressure to start with and check your progress. If you use too much pressure, you'll ruin the string and cause buzzing. It's better to work up to it rather than try to do it all in one hit. Now, it might not seem obvious, but how you tune your guitar affects how you set it up. So you need to tune the guitar to how you're going to be playing it before you start on your setup. And I'll show you why. To demonstrate the effects of string tension on the neck, I like to use a guitar with a whammy bar on it so that you can instantly change the string tension on all the strings. Watch what happens when I increase the tension on the strings by simulating tuning up. You can see the neck is pulled into more of a bow and the strings get further away from the frets. Likewise, if I simulate down tuning by lowering the tension on the strings, the neck straightens out and the strings get closer to the frets. Here's another thing that isn't quite so obvious, and that is gravity will affect the tuning of your bass. So watch how the tuning changes between laying flat and being in the playing position. It's subtle, but it makes a difference. Now, this is kind of tuning 101, but it's important because there's going to be slack in the gears. There's going to be a friction point here. There's going to be another friction point, a minor one at the bridge. So it's important that you tune from a lower note up to pitch. If you overshoot it, just go back down to a lower note and tune it back up to pitch until you get it right. Doing this will pull all the slack out of the strings and gears and result in more stable tuning. Now that we're all tuned up, Let's head to the next video where we'll talk about the truss rod.